Hey piggy people, so I wanted to give you an update on Apple. Her vet appointment was today. So last night I had to wash Apple. She was absolutely soaked, like her bum, her back legs, her belly were just drenched with stinky pee. And this morning uh, she was dry when I picked her up, which we haven't seen her be dry for probably almost a week. I've had to wash her bum every single night and every morning it's usually a bit wet so that was something so anyway she went to the vet and they did an x-ray and in the x-ray there was the same stone really high up in her urethra like a little mini piece that was still in there which it's been in there since the beginning and has never moved that's the one where they think it's probably just stuck kind of embedded in the lining so that was still there and she had a small stone in her bladder so we have one stone to pass so probably she passed a stone yesterday so she was probably working on it for the better part of the week thus the reason she's been in such pain and having such a soaked bum all the time so she must have passed it yesterday before her vet appointment which is just fine so she didn't have to have a procedure done because there was nothing there for them to try to flush out so we still have one left in her bladder so what I'm going to be doing is trying something different that I've never tried with a pig who has bladder stone issues but I'm gonna do no vegetables for her so she's gonna get hay pellets and urinary support tabs from Sherwood so I mentioned before how Apple's a bad pig for not drinking much. So I think with eliminating veggies, she's going to drink more. And I also mentioned how she's quite a lazy, sleepy pig. So I'm hoping that if she needs to drink more, she's going to get up more often than she usually does, which will be good to, you know, shake up the contents of her bladder so that she's peeing stuff out better. Now the reason I'm doing the no veggies is... I'm going to try the plan that's on the back of Sherwood's urinary tabs. So I'm not saying that what's on the back of here is 100% like this is going to work, but I figure what the heck have I got to lose? She made more stones with like in less than four months from her last ones and this is something I've never tried before so I'm going to give it a whirl. So pigs can live without vegetables. We feed veggies because A, they really enjoy them and B, it gives them vitamin C and some other vitamins and minerals. But pecan here, right in front of you, has not had vegetables forever because she bloats so bad. So she's on a hay and pellet diet only. So you need to make sure they're still getting vitamin C, which our Sherwood pellets have tons of that in there and the urinary tabs have some as well. So I'll just show you the package of the urinary tabs. So it says eliminate grain soy found in most foods and treats. Eliminate greens, fruits, and veggies. Feed only first and second cut grass hay and Sherwood pellets to balance the diet and minimize sludge. Then if needed, feed urinary support tablets to dissolve stones and sludge faster. So why this plan works. The food your pets eat determines their urine's pH. A high pH increases sludge and stones. A low pH dissolves them. To lower urine pH, feed only first and second cut grass hay Sherwood pellets. To, to dissolve sludge and stones faster or to prevent them, feed the urinary tablets. So it says for severe one tablet per pound of body weight. And it says to split them into two feedings. So I give her one full tab in the morning, one full tab at night. And we're going to do the no veggies. I don't feed um, any fruits anyway. So I'm going to give it a whirl, guys, because what the heck have I got to lose? So naturally, guinea pigs have a very alkaline bladder, which is what calcium and carbonate love to form together to create stones. So if we can lower her pH balance, Maybe she won't create more stones. I have no idea if it's possible for her stone that's in there to disintegrate. But we're going to find out. So yeah, I've never tried this before, but I'm going to try it because at this point, like, she's a senior. She doesn't need to keep going through these stones issues. And 
if she were to end up with a really big one and have to go through surgery, that's going to be really rough on her and potentially life-threatening for her to go through. So she won't be happy that she's not getting veggies, but here's the thing. Pecan gets taken out of the cage every morning and put into an extra little pen with some hay during veggie time. So Apple's just going to join her and they'll have each other to hang out with. So right now Apple is on Medicam for pain and swelling, like if there's any inflammation from the stone passing. And she's also on antibiotics. So she's on the TMS or Bactrim. It's the pink antibiotic, which I find all of my guinea pigs tolerate really well and they absolutely love it because it's mixed with strawberry. So that's what she's on for two weeks. And we're gonna see what's happening with the other stone. Hopefully she can pass it. Would be totally wicked if it would break off into smaller pieces and then pass out. So I'm going to keep her on the no veggie diet for probably the rest of her life if this works. Because as I said before, obviously what her diet is like now, her body just likes to create stones for whatever reason. Uh, there's so many reasons why they can create stones and it's really hard to pinpoint for each pig why. Um, I think part of it for Apple could be like I said where she doesn't drink a ton of water and where she's not the most active compared to the other pigs. So hopefully with her needing to drink more water on her own now without veggies, she's going to get up and get moving more and get drinking more water, flushing her bladder out better. So that's where we're at right now. Um, unfortunately, bladder stones always feel like a trial and error type thing. So that's why we're going to do a new trial and see where that gets us. And I know a lot of people are going to think that that sucks that she doesn't get vegetables, but when her life hangs in the balance and she can live without vegetables, that's what we're going to try. Because it really sucked back in the day when I had to take pecan off vegetables, because you feel bad because they really like them and look forward to them. But pecan now has zero reaction to when the pigs are getting vegetables. So she's uh, got used to it and she's doing well and pecan's six and a half and an excellent weight. So yeah, that's what's going to happen guys. So I appreciate everybody who said their well wishes for Apple. So let's keep our fingers crossed that we can get rid of this last stone and that her bladder is not going to create any more. Okay guys, I'll see you later. Bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!